welcome back today i'm back to do my monthly setup as you guys can see by the title but before i do that let me show you my july budget kit it's super cute and floral and you guys know i offer this as a kit just the monthly view and i also offer like the complete kit which is what i use um whenever i do my setup with you guys here you know i have everything i already filled out my little bill dues my no spends my debt tracker i don't have any but it's included in the kit spending tracker sinking funds transaction log weekly check-in and the actual budget so you can purchase this as a kit as well and let me show you my august one i think this one turned out super cute i love the colors and it's just super beautiful as well this one is also just the monthly view or the entire kit whichever you choose and you guys i'm so excited to share with you guys some new releases that i had in my shop i have been wanting to create like cute little stickers like these for a while and i'm like let me just do it let me take the plunge and i was like how cute are these little cats and these are gonna be called cat emojis i don't know if that's something that i made up i've never heard of it but you know like the emojis but in cat versions so i thought that was something super cool i have these which are like happy you know um study or smart worried or nervous and i have like some just you know ones that i kind of use mostly when i'm doing my planning so i have the little grocery bags i don't know if you can see how cute these are <laughs> super adorable and then I have a little cat here with a little lunch bag or a little to-go bag. How about this cute little cat ready to eat or cook? Of course, I had to do some study cat. <laughs> Super cute. And then just like the basic ones, you know, like trash, vacuuming. Whenever I see the vacuum um, little icons like these, I only see the old kind of vacuums and I do have a Dyson. So I was like, let me uh you know use this instead then laundry of course you guys know i do laundry on a daily basis and if you can see the little inside of the laundry it's a little cat <laughs> super adorable and then you know just dishes for <laughs> dishes but yeah i wanted to share that with you guys before i get started with setting up my budget i was so excited and you know happy to share that with you guys if you guys want to check that out, my shop is always linked down below. Now, for my actual setup over here, I did uh, set down my dots already. So, let me start with this side over here. And what I did was I put my 30 and 31 up here because it was kind of cut off over here and they put it crammed down here. So, I don't like that. So I was like, let me um, just put it at the top just because, I mean, it's just way, way better to have it at the top and not have like, you know, no space to put anything. So that's good. Okay, so I'm going to put the little bottom strip over here. And I do use matte removable um, paper for my stickers. I am trying to find like um, kind of like better paper that I could use with my actual printer that, is, that I have though. Um, so I'm trying to see if I keep the same one for next year or do I want to um, change it up maybe. I don't know. I really like that. Um, Kind of like velvet material kind of stickers. So that's kind of like what I'm trying to find. But I'm not sure like because they were telling me that I can do. Um, I think it was online labels. Like to go to the actual website and look at like the different types of papers that they have. Because this one is from online labels I think. But I got it from amazon i believe so it's not from the actual shop so i'm thinking that it might be um you know they have different options refill my um 
little bill dues over here we have gas which is on the first so that's gonna go over here then i have rent and rent is always on the third so that goes over here then i have my icloud and my icloud is on the sixth which is over here then i have um insurance and this one is on the 13th then i have um t-mobile and that one is due on the 17th then i have netflix netflix gets pulled on the 20th and my last one is insurance and that one gets pulled on the 22nd and i don't know why did did i put 50 right there i just saw that it's supposed to be 150 i wish 50 dollars for insurance no not even so then let me put my husband's paychecks he gets paid every friday so let's do this one right there how cute is a little pookie bear uh sticker i love that and i think these are from once more with love because i don't think it's the coffee monsters co oh so adorable i think it's super cute doesn't that look super cute and like always i just like to leave it like this and let me show you how i do my dashboard so my dashboard i don't share um you know my actual income but i like to break down that um each check over here on the separate page which is the one that i don't share but i like to have this separate section to put that then i have my let me go from here because then i get confused so this is my spending tracker my weekly check-in and my budget goes here so my budget I like to set it up over here and you guys know i am debt free i have been debt free i think it's gonna be has it been a year already it's gonna be a year that i've been debt free and that is just like the best feeling in the world so you know i want to keep it that way so i have my budget then i have my income over here and the totals um so there's only four weeks so there's four paychecks so this one goes here perfect and i'm just gonna use the washi to kind of break up that space right here then i do my variable expenses over here and my fixed expenses over here and if you guys can hear the piano in the background that's my neighbor she plays the piano so she's practicing like that so for this one i need to leave six lines two four six and then for this one i need 13 lines And I like to put this one at the bottom, you know, to finalize all of the results. Just so I can see exactly how much um, I spent for both categories. And finally, at the bottom, my cute washi, of course. So 
So let me put my lines in and I will be right back. So I have my lines all in. Let me put um week one, week two, week three, and a week four like that. Then let me input my expenses over here. For my variable, I have electrical, which is obviously electricity for my house. And this I budget $100. Then I have gas for the house as well. And I budget $50. Then we go into my categories and my categories all get the same amount. So we have personal and that gets 100 then we have eating out and these categories are what really help me stay on budget and you know not feel like i don't have any wiggle room in my um budget so definitely helps me allowance is four hundred dollars household is 100 then we have family that's 100 we have my husband's tools that's 200 then extra i don't budget anything but i always like to have the space you know just in case something comes up then we have food and for food i do 500 dollars then I have gas, and for gas, we budget $400. Then, of course, pets, we have $200. And that is everything that I track. So if I add this up, my total should be $2,200. Then over here for my fixed, I have rent, cell phones, insurance, iCloud, um, insurance, and YouTube. So then I have 1463, 130, 51, 150. Nine ninety nine, three fifteen thirty two, and YouTube twenty two ninety nine, two thousand one hundred and six with thirty cents, and that's pretty much how I like to set up my budget. And I just think it looks super cute and adorable, and I love I love how it looks and the page gets transformed with all the stickers let me put in my spending tracker and i like to do that at the back because i usually use this page and the back page um sometimes i don't need that much space but sometimes you know with all the different uh transactions i do need it so i rather have you know the extra space just in case than not have it so spending tracker and it has this other one right here with the date amount store and where am i spending the money from which is most of the time it's my categories that you know i track with you guys on my weekly check-ins and i just put the bottom washi and that is pretty much how i do this page and i just draw in my lines to have it ready for the week so we have that we have store right there amount and the date super easy to do that then over here on the next page i like to do my weekly check-ins if you guys have watched a couple of my videos you probably have seen my weekly check-ins so for my weekly check-ins i like to 
set up my weeks um you know pretty much the same just so like it's easier for me to keep track of everything that i have so i just go by weeks this is week one and then so on and so on so let me get another strip down here I thought I had another one. Apparently, I don't. So I'm going to leave it like this because I'm actually missing the other strip for my weekly check-in. So I'll be looking for that. I think I have to print it, actually. Um, because I think last time that I printed it, um, I just did it individually. So I'm just gonna, um, print another one. So yeah, like that. And then the other one would go here. But pretty much that's how I like to do the setups for my budgets. Because it works for me, I really enjoy um you know doing it this way i love using paper pen stickers and all the cute stuff of course you guys know um let me know how did you do last month i had a really really bad month not like budget wise but like um you know i lost a lot of footage from a, a lot of videos and pictures and stuff from my <laughs> camera and so that was why i didn't have a lot of videos up but budget-wise, I did really good. I'm going to see if later on I do the budget recap because that's the one that I hadn't actually filmed. So maybe I can do that. But yeah, let me know how did you guys do last month? Did you stick to your budget? Did you do good? I hope you did. But if you didn't, this is a new start. July is a new month and we can definitely start hope you guys again. have been enjoying my videos. If you have, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!